Hi, it's me again with Corrode Old Tips and Tricks. I'm trying to help somebody with print and merge, which I have done, but every time I do it, I it takes me forever to figure it out. And he's having the same problem. So when you do print merge, you're going to get, and he's doing 67 of these. I'm sorry that there's, I'm really no help in this, but if, if I was doing 67 of them, I would just do it this way. And, you know, like if you have 67 pages, just keep moving them off your page or copy them and bring them into your page. And you, there's a, if you don't understand that, there's a video on that. <clears throat> there's two ways. So he's having trouble with it, cutting out some of the lines. And I know very little about print merge, but I do know that his box is three by 1.5. And for the one I'm doing it for, change your drawing to hairline in red. So you'll just, you'll know it's a cut line and then put it to the top of the page. So I'm going to show you two ways. One of them is a, one of my mentors, um, script or a macro called tag cuts. And if we go to global macros, recorded macros, no, I guess it's down in here. There's tag cuts, double click on it, go to module tag cut. And then I, I've got to select an item. So I'm going to say, I want, it, it's got the column in there. And let's say we want five, just by right now, just five by five, but you want to fill up your page. Okay. Uh, control C to copy that and delete it. So now you only have one page and you can hit F4, make sure you've only got one copy. So we're going to bring in tag cuts, open back up, and we're going to go five by five. And I learned this weekend, if you put it in the top red corner, top corner, it will go, it won't fit in your, it won't go past your page. It won't allow you. So now I'm going to bring those back in. So you'd want to do that pre in and there's your, there's your item. Now the, the downside in this is these are hollow spaces because they're individual lines. If we go to object group and ungroup, and if you don't want to download tag cuts, we can do it a separate way. Let's just do it without tag cuts. Pretty easy. Uh, just draw you a line from there to there and make it as however long you want. And it is, see the back again going to, and you need to use RB, RGB red. Let's just delete that. And then we're going to move this down 1.5 inches. So I'm going to control D. Tag cut is really cool, but you can do it like this and make multiple pages and then draw you a two point line. And whenever you do that, sometimes see how it's connected to the other boxes. So draw you a two point line out by itself and then get your, make it red and then get your four point cross and put it there. Now we're at three inches for a box. So control D and move that over. And we got that many, but we got too many but you can make it whatever size you want. Now, this is a pain, but it, once you get the hang of it, it's really pretty fast. We don't want to ever uh, get rid of these lines, but we do want to go ahead and group them together, control G. Because now I'm going to, and I'm just going to do a couple of them. So now I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool on a yellow, and I'm just going to fill in the first line, and I'm going to grab all those, and I'm going to go to Object Order Backup Page. And really, I should group them together so we can get rid of them in a minute. No, I don't want to group them together yet. So now I've got individual boxes. And if, if you had all 67, and I know print merge and imposition layout works perfect, but almost by the time you get it figured out, unless you're going to do this all the time, I'm going to shift select my yellow box. And I'm going to go EC. I'm going to sh shift select my yellow box. and I'm going to go CE, either one. Now, you're, it's perfectly in where you want it. All your variables are there. We can delete the yellow boxes and those will definitely cut out because we haven't done anything to it. 
but uh, tag cuts would be your friend on this. Let's just, well, let's let's move these out of the way. Um, let's go. Let's see how many. Well, we got forty. I made I made the page twenty four by twenty four. So let's just start with tag cuts. Let's control C to copy that and delete them. Uh, tag cuts only wants one thing on the page. So we're going to make this three. Our ratios unlock so I can make it 1.5. Make it red again and RGB if you're going to cut it out on a laser. And let's put that to the top red corner. And secondly, I, I want to apologize. This is not perfect. It's going to, it's going to take some work. But I just... Uh, Roy Brewer and probably only a couple of the people that do this a lot know how to do this and, and get it done right. But we're going to open tag cuts back up. And if you don't have tag cuts, it's ask for it. And I will send it to you. Roy made it. Uh, we're going to go to tools, script. Yours might say macros. And we're going to go back to tag cuts. And this time, um, I got to select the item. And let's make it a, a seven and um, ten and create. Tag cuts created all that and then hit exit. The good thing about tag cuts, it just like when we created the line, if you will select this all and go up to order or excuse me, group and ungroup it, these are individual lines, so they're only going to cut once and not cut between there. Uh, so it saves you wood, it saves you uh, charring, because if you had to cut that line twice, but it mainly cuts you, it cuts your laser time in like half. So if you didn't use tag cuts and you drew this line, it would go through that, or just had a bunch of rectangles up there, it would go and cut every line twice. I know that's not the answer you were looking for, but that's the way I would, because once you get the hang of it and you had all 67 tags out here after you've gone through print merge it makes a bunch of pages and just put them all on one page and just ce ce and put them in there anyway i hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching